Hey guys, and welcome to my next guide that's going to be on level 1 clue scroll hunting. Uh, recently, Jagex added a lot of new ra rares into the game uh, that you get by clue scrolls, like that hat for one, and his kite shield, bronze, gold. Uh, basically, this has become a pretty decent way to make money, and I personally like it a lot. It might not be the most efficient way to do it, but it won't get boring, you know, because you never know what's going to be in that clue scroll, and it's just always fun to see what's going to pop up, you know. So that, and for me, that's just a good thing to have because I hate sitting there fishing sharks or whatever, it's just boring as hell, but this just doesn't seem to get boring for me. But basically what you're going to want to do is come to the ham place that's located in Lumbridge behind the general store and you pickpocket the little trap door. So come down in here and I would recommend at least 35 maybe 40 thieving for this. Obviously the higher thieving you have the easier it's going to be to pickpocket these and get a clue scroll because your success rate will be a lot higher. So I think the requirement is 15 for females and 20 for males. So you can get a clue for either one, but at that low, you're going to get caught a lot, and it's going to be a lot harder to get yourself a clue scroll. But, and, um, I'd also recommend 45 magic for this to get the Camelot teleport. I mean, if not, you can just have, um, all the teleportation tabs, but you could do it that way, or you can do it the way I'm doing it if you have the magic level requirements. Just wield an air staff and bring all the runes so that you can teleport around when you have to do these clue scrolls. And that's pretty much it. You'll also need a spade, a sextant, a chart, and a watch uh, to do the to locate the um, treasure trails shit. I don't even remember. I actually think those only might be for coordinates. I'm not quite sure on that one and level one clues you don't exactly get coordinates you just get random bullshit so you might not even need these but definitely a spade for sure to dig up the caskets and other than that I believe that's everything you need fucking random I'll actually begin recording when I obtain a clue scroll okay I finally got my clue and so what you want to do is just read it, search the wardrobe and drainer. Uh, basically what it's going to do is just give you a bunch of random shit to do. Uh, a lot of times they're going to make you wear some of the most random things like leather chaps, an iron warhammer, all that shit. And it'll be a hassle getting it all, but eventually if you do these enough and you keep all that random crap in your bank... Uh, you'll have basically everything the clue scroll will need in your bank, like I do. I have all that miscellaneous bullshit it makes you use in my bank. So, yeah. And you can go on an old school RuneScape treasure trails thing for uh, RuneHQ has one, which does have most of the stuff. Uh, which It does tell you where most of the shit is. However, they are missing a few things, and if you ever get stumped on something, you could just um, shoot me a private message. My name's right here. If you want to add me and shoot me a private message. If I'm online, I'll definitely help you out uh, where you are. Uh, or I'll try and be in my clan chat as much as possible. If you uh, need any help, I'll be either in there, or you can shoot me a private message if you need any help. Alright guys, I finished my clue, and as you can see, I got a black kite shield trimmed, which isn't too bad, I suppose. That's maybe 50k, I don't know. I'll check out later. But, I wish I had some more screenshots I could show you of some of the clues that I've gotten, some of the clue rewards but I haven't been screenshotting them like I should have been. I think I might have a few that I'll put in the end of the video. But I have made about 2 mil from doing this, so it's not, like I said, it's not the greatest method to make money, but it's not the worst either, so it's, it's, it's up there. And you know, there is always that chance of you getting third age and getting rich off your ass. Yeah, see, about 2 mil from cluing. 
I sold pretty much all the stuff I got. I've gotten this and this and this all from it. Uh, a lot of black pickaxes. I actually sold a few of those too. But the best things I've gotten probably, uh, I've gotten an iron plate body trimmed and a wizard robe gold, the black wizard robe gold, which are both around 600k each. I probably sold them both for 700k each. So not bad at all not bad at all anyway i hope this video helped and uh good luck cluing guys Pick time, it's the lock.